52 year old Richard Dale Crom is being held for the murders. One of those killed is his ex wife, Deborah Sue Crom. WRAG's Mike Sirianni spoke with a woman's current husband who says his life will never be the same. I really loved her. And uh, I miss her. George Drain is emotionally and physically broken. His wife, Deborah Sue Crum, ex-wife of accused killer Richard Dale Crum, is one of six murdered in the Tate County community of Arkabudla. Drain vividly recalls Friday when Crum showed up at the couple's mobile home. I got up out of the chair to come to the door, and I hollered, who is it? And about that time, the, the door busted open, knocked me down. Drain says it had been 13 years since he'd last seen Crum, who, he says, wasted no time going after Deborah Sue. He shot her once. He used a long gun single shot. And, but just barely clipped her. Drain says he struggled with Crum, who went outside to reload his gun and then came back, beating Drain with the stock of his long gun. I was pretty much out of it. I was aware of what's going on, I could hear, but I couldn't hardly really move. And he, he just walked straight over and shot her again, killed her. Drain suffered severe injuries from Crum's attack. His scalp split open and his left earlobe almost cut in two. And while he's attended two grief counseling sessions at the Arkabutla Community Center, no therapy can erase memories of his wife. I'd be sitting in my recliner, and sometimes I think uh, I see a glimpse of her still. In Arkabutla, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. Such a tragic situation. George Drain says his wife had suffered a stroke and was undergoing therapy. A candlelight vigil is tentatively scheduled for Thursday night in Arkabutla.